to run. And they're off. And a bit slow on the outside, Divided Sky. And best away was Old Chestnut in the centre from I, I Sir. Goldmine Cat, Barilko up the inside. Moving forward in the centre, Misunderstanding and Clear Destination is over on the outside, going around them. And three away last is Divided Sky. Racing with the early lead, Old Chestnut from I, I Sir. A length and a half away, Barilko. Then Clear Destination, Goldmine Cat. And Misunderstanding goes to the inside. And four or five lengths away, Divided Sky. 21 and three, the first fraction. And out in front, Old Chestnut. I, I, sir, breathing down the leader's neck. A length away, clear destination. The inside, Barilko. Two lengths away came Goldmine Cat as they corner. And out in front, Old Chestnut. Taken on by I, I, sir. Barilko on the inside. Then clear destination. Goldmine Cat down the outside. Old Chestnut continues on in front. A length to I, I, sir. And Old Chestnut and Tyler Gaffleon running away, scurrying home as a winner of the Ontario Racing Stakes. A big win by four lengths to Barilko, I, I, sir, and Goldmine Cat. 56.85. Oak Start Brett, the winner in Florida, and Live Oak Plantation and Mark Cassie, the winning team as owner and trainer, and Tyler Gaffleon as the winning rider. Old Chestnut back to back wins and a stakes win. Old Chestnut in the inaugural edition of the Ontario Racing. Tyler Gaffleon has never lost a race on this inside turf course here at Woodbine, and uh, Mark Cassie's got a pretty good record in stakes competition on this course as well. First of all, Todd, let's talk about the start because there was a bit of commotion there in the starting gate. Was your horse involved in any of that? I uh, know the filly next or the horse next to us was acting up a little bit. Wesley's horse, uh, Johnny stepped off and she he calmed right down and settled and, and it was easy from there. Yeah, the five furlongs. Obviously, you've ridden a lot of these at Gulfstream and uh, here it's a bit of a different course, obviously. But speed's the name of the game. Just tell us what it feels like to break with a horse like this out of the starting gates. Uh, he has so much power. You know, he's a very kind horse, very smart. Uh, took more from the pony in the warm up. He was as easy as can be and um, when he, the gates open he shot right out and uh, took care of business. We've had a lot of rain. This course does drain rather effectively. Did you notice any difference from today as opposed to yesterday? In all honesty, no. It was really good. Uh, I stayed one path off the fence. Yesterday I was right on him, but I didn't feel much of a difference. Happy belated birthday, by the way. Uh, thank you so okay, much. Okay, there you go. Tyler Gaffleon, who's done a fair thing. Yeah, you got to keep so, social birthday. media, Mark. That's where it's Happy at, birthday. my friend. <laughs> uh, Mark, did you give any consideration to the summer sticks with this horse? Because obviously you've been very much concentrating in short distance races with this one to this point. I did. I thought about it for a little bit, and then I thought maybe go here, and then uh, we'll probably go to Keeneland and run in. I can't think of the name of it, but it's a win and you're in. We won it last year with strike silver and um, so I changed that's that's what kind of swayed my uh, decision to come here and then we go there and then hopefully a good performance there you can go to the Breeders Cup in California. Did you have any concern at all with the rain as I mentioned this is a course that does have significant drainage with it was it's kind of a mute point because it was on the inside course? You know you always wonder um, I thought you know but it, it was good it was good um, we've gotten some rain but it's held up well. Always great to have you back with Woodbine, and uh, you're a great representative. I see you've got the Canadian pin on, and congratulations on the great performance yesterday as well with God Stormy. Yeah, I was extremely proud of her, and um, I think it'll set us up really well. And I think they'll have to beat her in the Breeders' Cup. She's gonna, she'll, she's gonna come back uh, firing. She loves, loves hard ground, and she's gonna get it at Santa Anita. Sounds great. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you, Mark Assey here with a very classy old chestnut in the Ontario Racing.